we have our morning conversation you know there's a lady yesterday who called in and really angered men mm. and i met some gentleman yesterday who was telling me that lady is so mannerless why did people have a problem with what she called in and said listen to her can i shame on you this morning i'm very disappointed with you and even the man who called yesterday and mm. said the next year i'm going to call you does she does he think that i'm a small child he needs to be ashamed of himself and Kenyan men have got no morals. Completely. I'm very upset this morning. For him to say that I go to Matasi every weekend, that is where my parents reside. And and for that lady who had called and said that, oh, that you were women doing the start touching, who is she talking on behalf? She's talking on behalf of herself. She that does not know how people behave, so she should talk on behalf of herself. Kenyan, if you are brought up in the village, please have that village mindset. And behave yourself this morning. I'm very upset, my nan. How can somebody think of those kind? Actually, when you drink, you must sleep with somebody. What kind of women are, are, are in this city? Please, can men behave in Kenya and think like a uh, gentleman? Thank you very and, uh, much. Shame on him. And uh, in fact, him is the one who's going to sleep in, to be sleeping with his daughters. If that is the way he's thinking, huh? they are very stupid. <laughs> Men have a big problem with that lady. Saying there's no woman who's supposed to speak like that. Kusomea wanaume. Mm. Men should not be so mewad. Kupashwa. Why? What is wrong that's with what she said? That's the way it is. Yondi nafanyaga watoroke kwa nyumba. Ama waache kazi. Hamtaki kusomewa. Mm. What is wrong with what that lady said? Is the tone. The tone. Mm. <laughs> Men don't like that tone. Kusomewa. <laughs> Ibu give me a call and tell me what is wrong with what that woman said yesterday? What is it about the tone? Like Malim was saying. What's wrong with that tone? There's something about that tone. That tone, men don't like it. 0711-046105 That's my number. Give me a call to the Hata kama umeandikwa kazi unaiachaga saa hiyo. If she's your wife unamwacha saa one day. Hiyo tone itafika mahali uchoke. What is wrong with the tone she used? Waza naongeaga ni kama wana rap. Hmm? Ni beat tu anataka. <laughs> at it's mine again your art classic 105 kenya my hashtag is mine and kenya hit me up on twitter my fan page on facebook is open for engagement as well what is wrong with the tone she used she had to put a point across she had been unfairly accused when she speaks her mind suddenly it's a problem your tone in as a fanya monome and mbali sana hageukie madagaska your tone at our ski villa nasema the tone 0711 is my number. Give me a call or send me that SMS to 22494. Oh. What is wrong with what she said? We didn't hear the tone. Talk to me. This lady called in yesterday and everyone got so upset at her. Can I shame on you this morning? I'm very disappointed with you. And even the man who called yesterday mm. and said to the next year I'm going to call you. Does, she, does he think that I'm a small child? He needs to be ashamed of himself and Kenyan men have got no morals. Completely. I'm very upset this morning. For him to say that I go to Matasi every weekend, that is where my parents reside. And and for that lady who had called and said that, oh, that you were women doing the start touching, who is she talking on behalf? She's talking on behalf of herself. She does not know how people behave, so she should talk on behalf of herself. Kenyan, if you are brought up in the village, please have that village mindset. And behave yourself this morning. I'm very upset, my nan. How can somebody think of those kind? Actually, when you drink, you must sleep with somebody. What kind of women are, are, are in this city? Please, can men behave in Kenya and think like a uh, gentleman? Thank you very and, uh, much. Uh, shame on him. And uh, in fact, him is the one who's going to sleep in, to be sleeping with his daughters. If that is the way he's thinking, huh? they are very stupid. A lot of men were saying she's mannerless. You don't use that kind of tone to men. <laughs> What's wrong with what she said? 0711-046-105 is my number. Keep calling. My shortcut is 22494. Hit me up on social media. My fan page on Facebook is open.
So on my Twitter handles at it's my neck again, you're at classic one oh five Kenya. The hashtag is minor and king. And what's going through your mind? So this lady called in yesterday. Can I need shame on you this morning? I'm very disappointed with you. And even the man who called yesterday mm. and said to the next year I'm going to call you that shit does he think that I'm a small child? He needs to be ashamed of himself and Kenyan men have got no morals. Completely. I'm very upset this morning. For him to say that I go to Matasi every time, that is where my parents reside. And and for that lady who had called and said that, oh, that you were women doing the start touching, who is she talking on behalf? She's talking on behalf of herself. She no. does not know how people behave, so she should talk on behalf of herself. Kenyani, if you are brought up in the village, please have that village mindset. And behave yourself this morning. I'm very upset, my nan. How so can someone think of those kinds? When you drink, you must sleep with somebody. What kind of women are, are, are in this city? Please, can men behave in Kenya and think like uh, gentlemen? Thank you very and, uh, much. My nan, next year. Shame on him. And uh, in fact, him is the one who's going to sleeping. to be sleeping with his daughters if that is the way he's thinking. Huh? They are very stupid. Thank <laughs> you. And everyone had a cow and a chicken. Kelvin Watoka, good morning. Let me just go to your tweet. Saying, tell that to man, Ajinyake Aolewe. Gilbert Ellen says, the law of minimix says that a dog that barks can never bite. Men calm down. That lady is just barking. Red Bear saying, Mimi, I can't have that woman in my house. Period. Hakio. <laughs> Kelvin, you're saying it's not a sin to give your opinion where need be, and especially the issue involves you. Which is what she was doing yesterday. Can you use Stephen? You say I'm 100 percent sure that woman is single. Yes, she had said she's single. Everybody says I cannot raise our colleagues in my house. That woman is insane. Hilary Masil Masalila. Good morning. See, a good woman is defined by her tone. Then Jodo saying, if you use that tone kwa monaume, lazima makidero zitembe. Ha, kiao. Chamogos, you're saying, no, my inner that woman is very right. It's us men. We mis misbehave sometimes. She was putting her point across. Peter Ayama saying, the reason why she hangs out with her dad is because no man can attain such tones. <laughs> Chef Ryan Ocheng, good morning. I got your tweet saying, that tone. Again, that tone who to me when I want to a catering who shall go Kufukuza umbua, not on me. Ha <laughs> kianani. At it's mine again, you are classic 105 Kenya. The hashtag is mine and kingangi. What's going through your mind? What's wrong with what she said? Hello, mine. Hello, good morning. Captain Kale. Morning, Captain. How are you? Good morning, sir. Bari Molimu. Salama sana. Uh, first of all, Monamke, I have five great ways for Monome Yote. Why? Still, as a matter of fact, any other man, a woman raises voices, who? Who is she to raise voice on us? And mine, not. do you normally support things just for the sake of supporting? I'm going to support your queen. Eh. At one bit. You know, mine, you know, mine, and the government says, you know, what you want to do? No. Do you even scrutinize now? Do you want to do it? Do you want to do it? Like, for example, I'm a woman taking alcohol with her father. Even myself as Captain Kala, I cannot take alcohol with my father. After five, we join in the Pombe. That's why those ladies are not married. They are single women, they are, they are spoiled brats in their society. Because they are not in the same town. They are not helping anything in any way in this society. Huh? Maina, do you know why? Do you know, do you, do you know these ladies who are supporting Maina? Do you know them? How are you? really understand? Hmm. Or you just... I'm going to talk to you about how many people are going to talk to Captain Kale, what is wrong with what she said? Kwanza, that tone, Kwanza. That tone is just she's a single woman, desperate woman. Kana manaume? Hakuna manaume na zakana ye? Maina... Even our even our mothers, don't, don't just argue with our fathers. Never. Never. I wish I can meet that woman. 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 I
And I want to advise you, Maina. I call it purposely to advise you. Tafadali, tafadali. Don't just support something blindly. Don't support something blindly. Like even the issue of alcohol. Do you normally make the same decisions when you are sober and when you are drunk? I'm, huh? li- I'm listening to you. Do you normally make the same decision? Bona wana, bona wana, bona wana, bona wana, why half naked ladies are, are outside a, a pub? Bona wana kai outside only family basilica. Bona wana kanga outside nini tribeca. Kwa sababu wana juo mtu wakisha kunya pomba and make poor decision. Ato mwana mka jana kitika simu alikuwa melewa tayari. Ayo kosa alikuwa natoka kwa ba. Ama alikuwa metoka kukwa kukunulio pomba na mwana mwemungina lapa na kuja kutuwa ongea pa jef 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 minge hapa. Ladies should throw the line. As we, there's men, we are kings, and no one should raise our voice on us, and no one even should look at us and argue with us. A woman is a woman. We are men. We are their kings, and we make decisions by ourselves. That's why we normally go outside and look for other women if these women raise voice on us. Thank you. Guy, talk to me. It's all about the drama caused by this lady who called in yesterday. And I need shame on you this morning. I'm very disappointed with you. And even the man who called yesterday mm. and tried to the next year I'm going to call you. Does, she, does he think that I'm a small child? He needs to be ashamed of himself. And Kenyan men have got no morals. Completely. I'm very upset this morning. For him to say that I go to Matasi every weekend, that is where my parents reside. And and for that lady who had called and said that, he, oh, that you were women doing the start touching, who is she talking on behalf? She's talking on behalf of herself. She no. does not know how people behave, so she should talk on behalf of herself. Kenyani, if you are brought up in the village, please have that village mindset and behave yourself this morning. I'm very upset, my nan. I'm how so- can you think of those kinds? Of, when you drink, you must sleep with somebody. What kind of women are, are, are in this city? Please, can men behave in Kenya and think like a gentleman? Thank you very much. Shame on him. And in fact, he is the one who's going to, sleep in, to be sleeping with his daughters. If that is the way he's thinking. Eh? They are very stupid. Thank you. Someone accused of doing something wrong. She's defending herself. What's the issue? Gerard Keitan, let me just go to your tweet. It's funny how single women pretend like they know how to give advice. Thank you. Karen, mine, I got your tweet saying, nothing is wrong. We are human too with the right to be pissed off and raise our voice. Red Bell saying, I recommend very highly as a friend of the court <laughs> that that woman that have to do therapy. Mark Kelvin is saying that tone is only used, only by nursery school teachers. Jeremy Martin, yes, take a seat. Listen, today is going to be moto kabisa. Irene Tumanaka, good morning. You're saying it's sad, the kind of male chauvinism ideologies you're listening to this morning. Absolutely. Captain Kale calling and just said some things are just insane. You know, Abraham is saying ladies are bound to be humble and men are to be respected according to our society. Amos Bill Ruto Kibet, you're saying such a lady has no room in my world. Mkutano utakusha, ton nimbaya. Hey. Next week's markets, you're saying I hate that with a passion. Whether I'm on the wrong, lower your tone. I have ears, not holes to decorate ahead. I can listen. At it's minor again your art classic 105 kenya my hashtag is minor and king let me just go to your sms's minor that woman is a disgrace to the society a good woman however mad you are should lower your tone when talking to any man no matter what hi minor she used that tone on me and i left her immediately and got married the very day i got married she's now back begging me but i'm not changing my mind my short code is double two four nine four it's going through your mind right now wow hello hello good morning Morning to you. This is Emily from Kajado. Yes, Emily. I've just heard w- how Captain Kale is talking. Yes. And there's only one question I'll ask. Yeah. Who can stand such arrogance, even if it is a lady? Must you submit to everything? Good question. Yeah, so let him know that we also have feelings and we have to express them. Yes. When I'm annoyed, I will be expressing my 
way of being annoyed. And I... when I'm happy, I'll also express myself. That lady was very right. She was annoyed. She was not happy the way they were talking. And there's no problem taking alcohol with your dad. At, and you are doing it in a right way. So, Captain Kalle will not take it personally. I know Captain Kalle very well. And that's why he cannot get a, wom a woman to marry. Because he's so arrogant. Thank you. Akio, okay, thank you. Aki, Captain Kale, hello, Classic 105. Yeah, Maina, I'm sorry to tell you, those men you are making, those noises are the men who are useless. Because they think a woman is there just to be heard, not to be. And a woman is there to be seen, not to be heard. Because men today are useless, and that's why they think when they buy a woman a beer, they can just go to them. That is very wrong. And can such kind of men, as the woman said, they are the ones who will go looking for any woman, even as long as they have bought them, yes, they think a woman is there just to be used. But that men, the, the men of today, they are all useless. And that's why they don't want to hear a woman talk. Because themselves, they are even afraid of the men. Thank you, Maina. Thank you very much. Ha, Kiao. Hey. Ladies, ladies, I love your attitude. Keep calling, huh? As we continue our morning conversation, the Pandora's box this woman has opened up. Can I need shame on you this morning? I'm very disappointed with you. And even the man who called yesterday <laughs> and said to the next year, I'm going to call you. Does, she, does he think that I'm a small child? He needs to be ashamed of himself. And Kenyan men have got no morals. Completely. I'm very upset this morning. For him to say that I go to Matasi every time, that is where my parents reside. And and for that lady who had called and said that he oh that were women doing the star touching, who is she talking on behalf? She's talking on behalf of herself. She that does not know how people behave, so she should talk on behalf of herself. Kenyani, if you are brought up in the village, please have that village mindset and behave yourself this morning. I'm very upset, my nan. Absolutely. How can someone think of those when you drink, you must sleep with somebody? What kind of women are, are, are in this city? Please, can men behave in Kenya? And think like a uh, gentleman. Thank you very much. Shame on him. And in fact, him is the one who's going to, sleep in, to be sleeping with his daughters. If that is the way he's thinking. Eh? They are very stupid. Wow. And men have gone absolutely ballistic. <laughs> Someone here is saying, Captain Kali at a bodyguard. Leota Maliza. The third one, Duarte, good morning. See, the lady should be cool enough when addressing anyone, especially men. Because me, I'm going to get a coffee. She can say most Kenyan men speak the way they do because the modern Kenyan woman has stood up for herself and is not taking any of their BS. Can I hear an amen? <laughs> I don't keep it boring. You're saying doctors should be around for some people. Because nowadays the topics are just headache, headache, headache. Verua Mwangi is saying, thank you, tell them. What makes Kenyan men think they can treat a woman like nonsense and get back respect? I think we need to address that question tomorrow. Do today's men deserve your respect, girls? That's what we're going to ask tomorrow, by the way. Or many of the activists are saying, Captain Kale, a person da madiabak wabiliangu. Ah, kiao. Once you're saying you're talking in that tune, you expect to have a man in your life? My sister, keep dreaming while well, menopause comes knocking on your door. Thank <laughs> you. Okay, you're saying, men, these women who talk too much are death traps, will surely die. Keep off. Brain, Brian, brainchild, good morning. You're saying ladies, ladies should learn to differentiate between boys and men. Real men don't shout at women, never unless he's a puppy. Vero, you're saying, Maina, how are you? Thank you very much. I'm fine. Thank you. Saying today I have to speak. Why are these men so angry? At it's Maina again, your art class, part of five Kenya. The hashtag is Maina and Kingangi. Talk to me. Nzuri. Yes, she has. She said she's got brothers and sisters. I don't think. Do I just sit in the in mama? Come mama, Vetu. Lakini mwanamke kuwa na tabia kama hiyo kwa society ya leo those are the days of today 
Hata ana hebu kusema tikinyanya ati ya zazeo Sasa outcast yani pepo ni fine shit ya kabisa Sisi ndio naomba vile katikala na tena kids tarimeni kuwa kids na tupate heshima Hati kwa heshima ndio tutaye heshima lakini sasa umma in the society is a disgrace Shit ya kabisa Thank you Hello classic 105 Good morning. Captain yeah. Caleb is complaining about that, the lady's tone. Yeah. Is he better? He's used the same tone. His is even worse. Absolutely. Yeah, his is even worse. He shouldn't even complain. Uh, and again, he, he, what I have realized about him, he lacks respect for women. Yes. Yes, because he doesn't, every time he talks about ladies, he talks bad things about ladies. He's only complaining, always complaining about ladies. But the lady has the right to complain because she was hurt. That's and true. She should, yeah, she, she, she's, she's doing the right thing because she needed to relieve herself. And that is why she talked the way she did. She was angry. So she, Captain Caleb should know how to respect women. I, I, I pity his wife. He has a wife. Because I don't know how he lives in that house. It is either... He has, he can't talk in his own house, but when he gets out, when he gets somewhere, somebody to talk to is when he, he says all these things. Maybe at home he doesn't talk. That's true. Yeah. So he has to say these things out there to be felt and to be known and to be heard like a, he's a man. He's a, he's a disappointment. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Why are you so quiet to you? Because you are told to shut up by that woman. <laughs> eh? Unapenda kunitafuta. <laughs> Na siko mbali. <laughs> Anekota tu wapa wakona. Mm-hmm. Na kirungu. <laughs> <laughs> okay, talk to me.